Hi, this is my second video on bonds, and in it we are going to solve problem 4.1.2 from Berberman. We'll be finding the redemption value of a bond when we are given its price and the yield rate. Let me remind you again that a bond is an investment vehicle where you are essentially loaning money to a company or an organization, uh, some government entity. It doesn't have to be the federal government. There are state governments and municipal governments, uh, counties and cities that do issue bonds as well. Um, and lots of people typically are taking part in the bond issue. Lots of people are loaning the entity money at the same time. That entity then uses your money to do various things. So they are taking a loan from you and paying you back with interest. Here's the problem. We've got a 12-year, 100 par value bond. It's paying 7% coupons semi-annually. Like I said in the last video, the the assumption generally is that it's semi-annual payments because that is the typical thing that's done with both corporate and government bonds. If it didn't say semi-annual, you would assume it's semi-annual. The bond is priced at 115.85 to yield an annual nominal rate of 6% compounded semi-annually. Again, that would be the assumption if it was not stated. Calculate the redemption value of the bond. Now, I, something here is going to go on that's a little different than what I said in the first video. Uh, with problem 4.1.1, I said typically the uh, redemption value is the same as the face, face value or par value. That is the typical thing, but evidently here, since we're calculating the redemption value, it's going to be different than the par value. It's not likely to be the same here. So this is kind of an atypical case. All right, so as far as solving this, um, let's draw a number, number line. So these are going to be half years. It's a 12-year bond, compounded semi-annually, so the last payment is going to be at time 24. The coupons, again, are the par value, the face value, 100 here, times the coupon rate as a semi-annual rate. You have to take the 7% and divide it by 2 to get 3.5%. So the coupons are 3.5, 100 times 3.5%. 24 coupons of 3.5. And then you've got your unknown redemption value, let's call that C, and again evidently here C is not the same as the face value even though it usually is. We can set up our equation of value, the price 115.85 is going to be the present value of all these payments, these coupons, which are essentially the entity paying you interest along the way. So that present value will be 3.5 times A24 at yield rate 6% divided by 2. 3% is your semi-annual yield rate, 0 0.03, plus the unknown redemption value that's discounted back 24 periods, V sub 0 0.03. Again, 6 divided by 2 is 3%. Raised to the 24th power. Okay, so we need to evaluate this value and that value and then solve for C. I think since this is a fairly short video, I'll also solve it thinking about future values too. Let's calculate this present value, take 1.03 reciprocal, uh, raise it to the 24th power, subtract from 1, divide by 0 0.03, times 3.5. This thing is... 59.274397. I'll go ahead and store it anyway. Store it in register 1. How about V.03 to the 24th power? 1.03 reciprocal to the 24th power. This is 0.4919337 times C. I'll store that number in register 2. So then I have to take 115.85, subtract what's in register 1, then divide by what's in register 2. C comes out to be 115.01, probably close enough to 115 that on a multiple choice they'd probably round it to 115. All right, let's do this same problem with um, future values, accumulative values, say at time 24. The future value of the price would be 115.85 times the, uh, again, the yield rate is 6% as a nominal annual rate compounded semi-annually, so the 
semi-annual rate is 3%. Take 115.85 to the 1.03, or times 1.03 to the 24th power, 12 times 2. That should be the future value of the 3.5s, 24 of those at interest rate 0 0.03, plus C, which is at time 24, so I can just write it as a C. One point zero three to the twenty fourth power times one fifteen point eighty five. This is about two thirty five point five zero. Store that in register one. For this one, do one point zero three to the twenty fourth minus one divide by point zero three times three point five. I won't bother storing that. I will just subtract it from what's in register one to get, once again, a 115.01, probably rounded on a multiple choice exam to 115.